did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I didn't have any money. In fact, I had negative money. I couldn't afford a place to stay and an office. So uh, I rented an office instead because that was, I was actually, I got a cheaper office than I could get a place to stay. Uh-oh. We thought we were out of the dark, but this could pull us right back in. Celebrities as presidents tend not to work out super well, but folks love voting for a name they can recognize. With all the money in the world and one of the most loyal fan bases on the internet, Elon Musk has all one needs to run for president of the United States. Well, mostly. We'll get to the details in a moment. I'm sure a lot of folks have wondered this, so today we're investigating. What if Elon Musk became president? Oh baby. PayPal, Tesla, Dogecoin, and the Oval Office. What a resume. The first thing we should ask, however, is, is Elon even eligible to become commander in chief? Looking at his history in the States, one might assume that he was born and raised. However, it's not the case. Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa. His parents, a South African father and a Canadian mother, profited quite a bit off an emerald mine in Zambia, and didn't seem to take issue with a lot of the political issues happening over there. Elon, however, refused to enlist in the South African military under apartheid and moved to the States instead. This move allowed him to find a lot of financial success under the American system. However, his birthplace was not on American soil, and therefore he would be ineligible to run for president. Too bad, so sad. So all you out there with pipe dreams of a Tesla-fueled presidency, I'm sorry, but it simply cannot happen. But the question posed in this video isn't, could Elon be president? It's, what if he was president? So let's do our best to look past silly constructs like rules and regulations. God knows folks with billions of dollars do it all the time. An Elon presidency. Let's get to it. What would this look like? Well, you can be assured that memes would make their way back into the Oval Office. Donald Trump did one hell of a job making headlines on the daily, and providing everyone with all sorts of quotable moments and sound bites. But one has to wonder how much of this was just his reality star mentality and his desire to make outrageous claims. I don't know if Donald Trump knew exactly what a meme was before entering public office. Elon Musk, on the other hand, bathes in memes every day. He drinks at the meme fountain and eats at the meme restaurant. I'm not so sure how many memes he personally makes, but boy does he share a lot of viral images. If Trump made his mark by communicating with his base via Twitter, one can only assume Elon would make his announcements via Reddit or iFunny. Wouldn't that be a good look for a president? There's plenty of potential for virality that way, and a lot of people would probably feel more in Involved if presidential policy took place this way. However, it might also be a bit of an unprofessional look for a sitting president to communicate largely through memes. There's probably a lot of security concerns with using popular content aggregators too. It's not likely that any of this would stop him, though. Another thing folks would probably look forward to with a Musk presidency would be a big push to bring crypto to the masses. As we've all seen over the past little while, Elon is a big supporter of all sorts of different cryptocurrency, from Bitcoin to NFTs to Dogecoin. He's been very public with his adoration of these forms of digital currency, tweeting out things like Doge to the moon, and at one point claiming Tesla would accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. These announcements have kind of fallen flat lately though, with Doge taking a big dip and the Bitcoin payments being short-lived. After realizing that folks were resurrecting coal-burning power plants to fuel crypto mining, Elon had to backtrack on his Bitcoin claims. Probably for the best though, it's tough to advertise the environmental benefits of an electric car when folks are paying for them by burning coal. But if Elon were president, I'm sure he'd find a way to accelerate the production of cryptocurrency. He could legislate environmentally friendly ways to ensure people were using reusable power when mining or something. It would definitely be interesting as crypto tends to fluctuate wildly and most of its value is relative to the US dollar. He'd either have to find a way to make them both grow together or do away with the dollar in favor of digital currency. I can see that happening. Now, there are some things that I'd be more concerned with. Elon seems to place a lot of value in disruption, especially when it can rake in a lot of money. With the development of things like SpaceX and his Hyperloop tunnels, it seems like he's trying to replace a lot of public services. Why develop a Hyperloop that only services Teslas when you could instead build a fast train that could carry a lot more people and be less prone to accidents? Why send all sorts of rockets into space under your name for your company when you can do it with NASA and have all these patents and progress stay public? With Elon in the president's chair, one has to wonder if he'd spend government money on public services and infrastructure or if he'd just leave it wide open for corporations to pick up the reins. That's worrisome in the long run because when too many public institutions get privatized, the average person tends to carry the load. So let's just hope he keeps funding libraries so more people can learn and grow. Another thing I could see Elon doing as president is changing the national anthem. Star Spangled Banner, no more. We stand for a tune by Grimes now, which is funny because Grimes is Canadian. Oh, Canada. 
Now, if you've been paying attention lately, you probably know that Elon recently hosted SNL. If we look back, we can see a pattern of future presidents playing some sort of role on the famous sketch comedy show. Donald Trump made an appearance and danced along to a goofy parody of Hotline Bling. Barack Obama made a cameo appearance on the show back in 2007, and George W. Bush showed up once in 2000 for the presidential bash sketch. So if my line of thought can be carried over, Elon is more likely than your average person to snag the presidency based on his Saturday Night Live track record. I don't know if the Wario costume helps or hurts his chances though. I'll finish off by saying that Elon, while a very savvy businessman, doesn't really have any history in public policy. Sure, some past presidents have found themselves in similar situations, but coming from another country and starting up major businesses probably doesn't set Musk up for a successful presidency. He's gotten into trouble before for using social media in ways that affected the stock market, among other things, and I feel like that wouldn't fly if he were leading the country. Plus, he made that ill-advised tweet about coronavirus cases hitting zero by April last year, which hasn't aged well. If he won the presidency, he'd have to be a lot more careful with what he presents to the public. So there you have it. Policy in the form of memes, crypto integration into American infrastructure, a questionable track record on public resources, Grimes National Anthem, and more. Do you think I'm right in my assessment of an Elon Musk presidency, or am I way off the mark? What could you see Elon doing while sitting in the Oval Office? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more endless ones from what if Elon took Dogecoin to $10. Ed says, if he does, we got to respect and protect our Doge father. And the memes begin. Claudie Just Podcast says, Many believe one of the major keys to success is waking up early each and every day, having a head start before everyone else, and being one step ahead at all times and fully prepared. When others are still sleeping, you are already working. What's that old saying? The early bird gets the worm. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Avalon says, what if every animal gained human levels of intelligence? I mean, we'd be pooched, man. Animals outmatch us physically like so often, and if they had our brains, I mean, that's our advantage. I mean, that and opposable thumbs, but I think monkeys would kick our ass for as smart as us. Mickey Jane says, Elon Musk is the richest man. I don't know who needs to hear this. You've got to stop saving money, invest part of it if you want financial freedom. I say invest it all in lotto scratch tickets. That's the guaranteed way to success, right? Faison Imtiaz says, claim your I'm first ticket here. Are you going to mail it to me or send it via email? I'm waiting. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.